Hey everybody, um, we've recently changed the HTML editor within our system, so I wanted to show you some of the features with it, uh, the newer features, and explain why we've changed it. Um, the main reason we've changed it is we were getting a lot of complaints about the other editor. It was putting in characters, it wasn't formatting things right, um, it was just generally very hard to use because it seemed to, have, <laughs> well, to be blunt, it seemed to have a mind of its own. So anyways, um, what we've done is we've, we've simplified the editor. You will notice there's less options but that appear initially, but you'll realize quite soon that there are not less options. So, um, and if there is an option missing, it's because people really were not using it in the first place. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you a few things that have changed with it. So if we click on edit here, First thing you're going to notice is that it's blue and it's um, it's got more of a vista look. Um, many of you may uh, may uh, remember that if you went down to the bottom and grabbed the bottom here, bottom corner and pulled it down, it would actually open it up and make it bigger and so on and so forth. And quite often we had to do that in order to actually see all the text and be able to edit it, especially when there was um, already existing HTML or text that uh, we were editing, we would have to open this thing up in order to be able to, to go in and edit it. Well, one of the nice things about the new editor, and I'm sure lots of you will agree, is that, for instance, I've got this sample Amazon uh, HTML that I've gotten here. If I click on edit now, what you're gonna notice is that it automatically resizes the window so that all your content is there. So, which is really nice. So you can actually not have to worry about clicking and dragging all the time when you're trying to edit things and trying to change things. So that's one of the new new things that are in there. It's also quite nice because, now I haven't tried this myself, but I believe and I heard from somebody that it will expand itself. And let's see if it's true. This, we, it expands itself as you actually type. So if I go w da da da, you'll see that it actually opens itself up, which is actually really, really nice because you're actually seeing what you're working on. So now, another one of the nice things is the spell check. We've got an Ajax spell check that we've put in here. If you click on it, it's gonna go and highlight words and try and actually get you to change it. So there, so for instance, we change that one. Oh, it was something else. You, you will notice also if we do something like this, it'll grab it right off the hop. So it highlights it. It gives you options that you can choose. You can ignore it. You can change it manually or you can add it to the dictionary. I wouldn't worry about adding it to the dictionary quite honestly. Um, it doesn't make any difference. So there we go. So it'll tell you that it's done. The other thing, we've got a find function in here. Okay, so there's find and replace. If you click on it, you can actually, it'll come up and you can type in something you're trying to do. If you're trying to match the case, direction up or down. So if it's down, you're gonna search from the top of the text from where you are to the bottom. Up will be from where you are up to the top. Uh, nice little feature in here. You can replace whatever you want within it and you can say replace them all. So. Quite nice little feature. Um, the paste function in here, we've got various options. You can just do a normal paste. You can paste from Word, which will uh, attempt to actually strip out all the stuff that gives us grief within our HTML from Word, because Word puts in all kinds of garbage. Um, it'll also paste from Word and take out all the fonts, which is actually quite nice, because once again, Word puts in a lot of different font stuff. You just put it in as plain text as HTML and you can paste actual HTML in there. So the nice uh, functions, chances are one of these will work for you if you're cutting and pasting. Another option we've got here is the undo option. So for instance, I want to undo my spell checker. I can click on the drop down, I can undo typing, so on and so forth. Or I can just plain, it keeps a history, or I can just plain undo, see? Or I can redo it. So what do I want to redo? I want to redo the spell checker. So it just put it in there and stuff. So that's one of the nice features in there and stuff. Um, inserting media, we'll come back to that in a minute. 
right here, the hyperlink manager, this is actually, if we want to create a link, we can do that now. But let me show you something about this. I'm going to highlight modules. So let's say we're going to go into the hyperlink manager. One of the nice things we've done is we've added in the ability so that you can choose pages that you've created. Okay, so if you want to do something other than a page you've created on the site, you can type in the actual URL in here. But one of the nice things about it is like, for instance, if I wanted to do my free advertising, you'll notice that it also turns around and does it SEO optimized. You've got the option to specify whether you want in the same window, a new window, parent, browsers, play with this. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, if there's existing anchor, you can use it. I would always advise that you put in a tooltip, okay? And always use, use that kind of stuff. This track the number of times and log the user and date, it doesn't make any difference to you. So actually that will disappear. Uh, we'll be getting rid of that out of there because it's not going to help you at all. You can apply a CSS style if you want. Um, personally, myself, I wouldn't bother, but um, you can pick and choose from some. We've put it in there. You might want to do do some wild thing with the link. I don't know. Um, give it a try. Um, over in here, I would give it a name as well because the search engines are looking both for the tooltips and the names, and they should be different, quite frankly. Okay, um, another little option, if you're going to put in emails, you can put in an email address and a subject that will automatically go in there. So a nice little option in here and stuff. Um, let's choose a CSS style so that you can see how it works. Let's choose something like, uh, let's make it red, okay? So there we go. So now we've got our modules and it's displaying in red. Okay, so, the, so you can apply um, some uh, default CSS styles that are in there. If you don't, if you don't like the link, you can just click on remove link here. Um, the other option you've got is you can go into here and you can choose properties. You can right click on it, that's what I did there. And you get the same options. You can right click and you can choose remove link and it'll remove the link as well, okay? The only thing about it is it doesn't remove the styles if you notice, right? So the other thing we can do is we can go format stripper and we can say strip all CSS styles. Or we can highlight everything and say strip all CSS styles. And you'll see that it actually took it all away. Another nice thing about this is we've got the custom links function. So if you just want to do it real fast, you don't want to have to go into the link thing and all that stuff, you can click on custom links, portal links, and it will bring up your pages as well. So we can put that in there and that should have actually turned around and given us, there it is. Okay, so it gives us another link in here and stuff. So kind of, kind of cool. Um, the other thing we've got, we've got the ability to insert special characters. Okay, tables, you've got all your options. You can play around with that and figure out what kind of options you want. Uh, you've got You've got the ability for new paragraph markers, full screen, in and out. You can insert a date, you can insert a time. We got bold, italics, all our fonts, indenting, numbered lists, so on and so forth. So here's your text colors and your background colors and all that stuff. And you can strip out formatting. You can do all kinds of wild and wonderful stuff in here. Let's just say strip all formatting. It'll just wipe out everything if you want it. Um, don't forget, if you don't like it, you can undo it at all times. We can strip out word formatting, like all things, all kinds of stuff. Uh, the other thing we've got is we've got an HTML view. Okay, so there's the HTML. We've got the preview. So, because sometimes it's different in between here and the pre preview, right? Uh, the HTML mode is quite nice in the fact that you can just paste your HTML in there, but quite frankly, a quicker way of doing that is you can flip into the basic text box mode and just paste it in here and choose like in a, like the HTML mode, and it'll actually show you the HTML. You can paste all your HTML in here. If you, got, if you want to do it with RAW, it'll show you it all in RAW, okay, how it's going to turn out. So 
what you'll notice is that it's actually setting up divs and spans and so on and so forth. So you've got a lot of options to sort things out. All right. Personally, myself, I'd stick to the uh, to the um, HTML editor. It works very well. Um, it's one of the reasons we really like it now. Okay. Um, another thing you may not be aware of is if you don't want to use the HTML editor, you don't want to have to um, go to the basic text box, click back and forth, and all this stuff. You do have the option of turning this right off and just using a standard text box. A number of our authors actually do that. And how you do that is you click on your name so you can visit your profile at the top and then click on edit profile go to manage profile and you'll see there's this option that says use standard text boxes turn it on scroll down to the bottom click on update and when you go back into your actual page now you will see if you go to edit it that it's now just a standard text box okay so I hope uh, you like all the new features, and uh, thank you very much.